welcome back to the channel and to the Lake District. Today we're going to go to three way rights and we're in the Troutbeck Valley. It's one of the quieter areas of the Lake District, so I'll show you where we're going to go on the map. We start today's walk in Troutbeck, just leaving Jesus Church. Heading over the bridge, we find a small path which takes us up to Garbon Road. We walk towards the copse, heading up to Sour House, we soon find the summit. And from here, it's an easy walk across the crescent and we soon find our way to the summit of Swallows. Once capturing our second way right of the day, we start to work our way down and find Garbon Road once again. Heading down the easy path with Windermere ahead, we eventually turn towards Troutbeck. Then we follow the back along the low valley walk until we get to Troutbeck Tongue. The short sharp ascent rewards us with fantastic views over the valley. Once we've achieved the summit, we head back down to Hag Gill and once there, we walk on the other side of the riverbank towards Troutbeck. Heading Downing Lane, we find ourselves at the Queen's for refreshments before making a short walk past the Caravan Park to Jesus Church. We're working our way towards the Town End Historic House and we're over the bridge. Here we go. The car bridge is the side there and this is the footbridge. Right, we cross over here and then we're going up to Harrow's Farm. There you go. Kent Mere, three and three quarter miles. <laughs> kind of a difficult to get round area this if you're collecting Wainwrights. So if you are doing that, then this is a good walk to get in. It's a quaint little walk up. This should be pretty quiet today because it's uh, kind of between Kent Mere and Amble side. Well, these aren't really well walked fells at all. So we're not expecting to see many people at all. I've got a new selfie stick today and it's longer than the other one. <laughs> so, hello. <laughs> uh, I'm next to the Kent Mere Horseshoe. And if you're doing the Wainwrights, that's got eight Wainwrights on it. So very much worth doing if you're in this area. So yeah, if you're in this area, you can do that one one day. It's a full day out and then have a crack at this one for a shorter one. So you can just see there the clouds just touching the tops. Hopefully we should stay under it all day. This is our gradual ascent as we go up. So it's a steady path all the way. As you're going along this, you do get a sight of the valley all the time, so that's the valley as you look back. And then, got the caravan park down there. When you get to these little fern trees, and you get to the edge of the wood, which is just here, uh, we're going to leave the path. So this is Garbon Road, and we're going to go over here and it's over this style, up to the next one up there, and that's Dubs Road, just there. Right, let's go. Right, so it's through the ferns, and to the other style. As you're coming up here, you get a look of Windermere for the first time. So it's just over there in distance. Over this second style. Okay, so from this road, so there's a style just come through. There's Allison just demonstrating the other style. <laughs> so we're up there and it's about 210 meters. So a bit of a stiff one. Whoop. Oh. Ah. It's a field. <laughs> Still coming up then. It's a bit of a steep one. There's a look back. <laughs> it is quite a noticeable up this, you will uh, <laughs> be able to tell you're doing it. But behind me there, you see Windermere, so as soon as you're left the road, you get quite good views going all the way around. There's the view down to Windermere. 
see it all stretching there before you. Okay, so in the book, um, we're coming up here, so we've passed Dubs Road there, and we're going to Sour House here. Uh, at the side we've got, so we're going up the Applethwaite Common area. So our summit's just come into, into sight, so just up there. And that's our first way right of the day, Sour House. There are some slightly boggy bits on this. And this is one of them. <laughs> Try and get a fit across here. There we go. That's not too bad. A little bit squelchy. All right, so Alison keeps telling me that there's two tops, but there is a marked top in the Wainwright book. So we're gonna go and have a look at that one. Definitely a bit of a tough climb, but just to finish you off right near the top, you've got this. <laughs> So getting to the summit now, if you have done this, just let me know in the comments, because you'll be in the minority, because uh, not that many people have built this Wainwright. Right, getting there now. Windermere, just behind Allison there. It's a good view out though. I'll show you when we get to the top. Oh no, <laughs> there's another bit to go. It's a false top. Gotta go on through there, and then we're up the top. Right, I've gotta get over here somehow. <laughs> Whoop, maybe not like that. It's easy if you're a dog, you can go in there. Right. I think so. I think everyone's been over this little fence at the side because it's quite rickety. <laughs> right. Just then to the top there, there's the valley stretching out before us. Top of this just goes down and up, down and up, just to tie you out. So we're going down again and then up there again. <laughs> like an obstacle course. And then down and up. Blimey. There's a couple of claims for the top. So uh, there's a couple of bits that say they're the same height, but actually the true top is over here in front of us. It's one of these bobbles, the furthest bobble over there. It's at the end of the run. It's got a sort of little path going up it. Right, here we go then. <laughs> Slightly boggy underfoot. Of course it would be over here. And there we go. That's the summit of Sour House. Oy. Right. So no marker anymore. But a cracking view out. There's Windermere. That is the big up for today, and now we're over to Sallows for our second way in right. And we're going to head down here and then we'll work our way around to it. It's just over there, you can see it. Although these are not the most frequently walked way in rights, uh, they are really good and they've got great views. Quite grassy on the top and a bit boggy underfoot, but still well worth a walk out. I say the reason did this is because the cloud base today is quite low, so you can see over there. That's already clagged in. Uh, so I thought I'd just pick up these. It is quite boggy on the top here, so I'll just show you where we're going to. Working our way, basically following the wall around there. And then we're heading up. Although the first Wainwright is uh, 
bit of a stiff climb. The second one's pretty easy. Basically just doing a fell walk across the top of it. So straight forward. It is really boggy. Uh, <laughs> how do we get out of here? Right, but dry near the wall. So stick to that if you can. Eventually as you come along you get to this little style and you're over the other side. Whip. There you go. Yeah, so we're up there and then round. Then that's the summit. If you are doing the Wayne rights then I consider them to be like major and minor ones and these are some of the minor ones because he only gives about four pages to three of them in the book so it doesn't spend that long on them but yeah I've got cracking these out when I get to the top of Sallows here you'll see why he's included it because it's a great view out over the valley the path as you can see behind me is still is this sort of grassy stuff and a bit boggy. So it's not like a rocky walk. You might get on Helvellyn or something. It's uh, much more reminiscent of what you get up in the Northern Fells. Here's our final run up. Just up the top there. And that's the summit of Sallows. We're just getting there now. The walk up is pretty routine. It's not like a huge exertion walk. It's fairly flat. Uh, and I'll show you it looking back. So we've come from over there and just basically walked around up to here. And we're just going to complete that. I think we're getting lucky today because this is clear as a top. The cloud's lifted, and I think it has on the third one as well. Now then, this is it. Our top of Sallows, and that's the Ordnance Survey. Point and banana. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's the view out you get though. So, massive view over the edge of the fells. And that's looking back onto them. Here, on this side, you can just see going up to Yoke, and that's the Kentmere Horseshoe around that end. I did that the other day, so I'll put a link in so you can see that, if you wish. Kentmere Horseshoe, it's eight Wainwrights, so it's a must-do if you're collecting the Wainwrights, as is this, really. Uh, so they're two good ones you can do in this area. Just on the side here, we're getting into bilberry season now. It's uh, middle of July. So there's the bilberries, just there. A bit of hillside food. We're working our way down, and then we're just joining this road here. Out the side of the wood, little cops there. There we go, little style for us. Then we're hitting the road. Whoop. Okay. Oh. Right. right. So a bit of an update for you at this point. Uh, if you look at the Troutbeck medley, it would tell you to go across here. And I can tell you that is gonna be an absolute bog fest because there's a load of streams running in there. So I'm actually not going to do that, but you can if you want to, it's up to you. Just go through the gate and then start plodding your way through that squatty mess. We're heading over there to Troutbeck Tongue, but you can actually just go down this very nice road and then head up the other side. So that's what we're going to do. <laughs> Thank you. 
Right, there's a little gate. Oh, oh missed it. Hang on. Have to lift that one. Now this path coming down is really stable. You can probably hear me kicking a bit of slate around, but it's uh, fairly steady. There you go. Nice dry path. As I say, if you went in the middle, where you can be suggested to do on this route, it is a total mess. Uh, I know from experience, so I'm <laughs> not doing that. So if you want a much drier experience on this medley, then I'll say this is the way I'm just showing you. There's an alternative. Um, if you do come down this way, you also get good views going out. So we are walking, walking there right towards Windermere. So you've got that valley open up in front of you and Lake Windermere right in front. As you're walking down here, you can just see Troutbeck Tongue just there in the little distance. So we're heading up that. And in the books, Wainwright says it's well named because it's right in the middle of the valley, which it is. Um, and a lot of the tongues that you see around the Lake Districts are just kind of on the side of a mountain somewhere. There you go. That view just opens up as you come through here. Keep coming down here, and then this is very innocuous little turn off. You just have to keep your eye out for this wall, really. And you're going through here, you can just see a bit of a path. There we go. And then it leads us through this gap. And then it'll veer off that way. And then we're going to go down the hill. Dead easy to miss that, so I'll put it in the description. And uh, if you're doing this, I've got it on the OS app. So if you download that before you come on the walk, uh, then you can just use it to go around and it'll tell you if you're off course. It is pretty steep this coming down, so you just have to watch yourself a little bit. It's quite grassy. That's it going down there. So we're gonna hit that road down the bottom and pick it up. There you go, thistles are out. So that time of year. So hit the path and then we're taking a right. And you can just hear the stream down there. As you walk along this trail towards Troutback Tongue, you're elevated, uh, probably about 50 meters off the valley floor. So get that view going all the way. There we go. There it is ahead of us then, so Troutback Tongue's just there. Got a few rowan trees and uh, pioneer species around. Okay, so that's Troutback Tongue in the book and there it is in reality, just there. So what we're gonna do today is we're just gonna go all the way down here and straight up the uh, throat of the tongue if that's a phrase. <laughs> so although this looks a bit further than the other route where you cut through all the, the marsh there, it is actually just a straight route this. So it's dead easy to do and it's pretty fast to do as well. Some uh, very large lambs in that field over there. <laughs> oh, it's a tricky one. 
<laughs> okay, we're just heading past the farm. Oh, cyclists. Hi. Andy. A little way along this quite flat road, you can see it's just gently going along. Gets the waterfall there, and the bridge. Another little stream to get over. Oh, a few little rocks there. Nope, nope. Nope. Another one. Whoop! <laughs> Tricky one. Get out there. Yeah. As we're approaching this, it just looks a little bit reminiscent of Castle Crag. So. If you've not seen that video, I'll just put it in the description for you. Have a look at it. Uh, that is the shortest of all the Wainwrights. It's in the Northwest Fells. So that's what it looks like, and there's a path going up this side of it. It's about 350 meters, so a bit of a steep climb. So go through here, and then we're immediately checking that shots. Yes. <laughs> then we're heading down here, and there's the bridge there. That's another lock. Oof. It's just a little walk down here. Then we get over, this is Hag Gill, uh, just in front of me. There's a bridge over here. Whoop. There we go. An arrangement of stepping stones there. <laughs> so you're going through here. And then we're taking that little path there, going up the side. Right, where's the thing? Oh, there it is. Go on here on a... At 200 meters altitude. And um, we're going up to 364, so a bit of a climb, but it's not too bad. It's gonna be steep though. Wind our way around this. <laughs> right, up we go. <laughs> it's a bit of a mess, isn't it? We seem to walk in a sort of river. So if you are coming up here, it's just best to follow this wall. It's the driest way up. We've just been off path a little bit and it's boggy. <laughs> so that's the uh, dry path. It definitely is steep, this. There's no getting away with that. <laughs> but it's pretty short, so I can't actually see the top from where I am now. About halfway up. There we go. That's it going forward. And you get views out over the valley when you fancy a stop and a look. Where I was earlier when I came down off the top, that's the little stand of trees. And we took the path this way. But yeah, the alternative is to go through this field here, work your way down until you get to the farm down here. Now you can come this way, but uh, <laughs> I know it's super boggy in that area. So I didn't want to do it, but it is quicker. Oh, that's a messy one. Yeah, I'll give you hands. Oh! <laughs> it's one of these hook ones. Yay. Right, 
nice to go up here with the farm down there. It's a bit reminiscent of the uh, Fleetwood Pike one. So I'll put a link into that, but you go up the nose a bit and then all the way to the top. So a bit similar. There's a couple little challenges here as you come up. Whoa. Oh. All right, all the way down to Windermere there. When we get to the top here, it's going to be a great shot down the valley. So I'll show you around there. It's not that it's that high, this one, it's just it's quite steep. <laughs> but we're almost at the summit. A few more yards and we're there. All right. So when you get to the top, there you go. Got to work your way over to that final summit in the distance. Hi, right, sir. Little sheep having a rest. Hello. That's the valley. Oh, oh, sorry, we are ruining the view. Chilling out there, just looking down the valley. Nick the spot. <laughs> So we're just coming up. Here's the summit. There we go. Shroud back tongue done. Boop. And that, as you look back down the valley, wow, so you can see Windermere right in the distance. Uh, this is where we've been over today. So sour howls and swallows are over this side. That's the valley looking down. Alison's trying to tell me this isn't the top. Yeah. You reckon it's further up? That's what this is. Oh, you're saying that's the top? That's what he says on the whole <laughs> <laughs> Well, we'll check it in the book in a minute. Right, it's okay. Anyway, we'll go to the other top and then we'll check the book. Let's have a look at the top. There you go, an unmarked summit. <laughs> now, it is actually higher than that, isn't it? Yeah, although that one's the one with the kern marker on it. This is actually higher, feels higher. According to the book, the summit is the one with the uh, stones on it. So that one over there, which we've just been on. In the uh, background, have a look at this. So heading back in the middle it says grey crag over Thrushwaite mouth and then Thornthwaite crag is just there on the right and then Cordale Moor is there on the left. Right anyway we're going to go over to the other one because I want to get that shot for you. Just going to do the walk back now but we'll get to uh, this other summit as marked by Wainwright and then we'll have a look at what he says about that. So that's Wainwright's drawing of Windermere and the Troutbeck Valley and there it is for us. Let's just check. Book, Valley, Book, Valley. Yes, pretty good. 
I like it. Right, so from here, we're gonna head straight down to the valley floor and then complete the walk back to the village. So we've got a few things to show you on the way back, but if you enjoyed the video, then it helps me out if you click on the like. And if you wanna see more of these, just click on subscribe and you'll see them as they come up each week. All right, let's head down. It's quite an easy off this. Just come down this path, we'll meet the uh, river down there, then we head along the valley. That'll do it. Lift it. Oh no, it's this latch. It's, the, yeah, it's, on, it's got like a safety catch on it there. Yeah. Boop. Right, I've just seen a rabbit go in here. Back down to Hag Gill here, and that's the bridge we came across earlier. And this time we're back, we're gonna walk on this side of the river. Let's get a bit of new ground. Right, so we get down and we get to this, and this is the path through the field. Oh, it's a bit of a tight one. <laughs> Let's see that gate. And this is Troutbeck Village. All right, so we're gonna go through the uh, field there, then we'll join the path that's coming just here at the end. Then we're on our way back to the village. When we're through the field, there we go. Uh, fresh weights up there, but we're not going there. We're going down here. This is the gill again as we go over it. There we go. Gate with girders, not seen one of them before. We're going to turn off here and then it will take us straight back to the village. Hello. Hello. Have a groan. Oh no. Not popular. Is it all like that? I'm not going to go down here any further simply because I've got shorts on and there's loads of nettles and uh, brambles down there. But if you come in the autumn, that'll be clear. But for the sake of my legs, I'm gonna go and take the road around and show you that way. Yeah. <laughs> The advantage of coming up here is you come out of the Queens, so get a pint here and then just head down to the village. Thanks for watching the video all the way to the end. If you want to see more, then just click on subscribe. Uh, and if you did enjoy it, just click on the like and that helps me out. It's much appreciated. All right, let's pop to the pub. Here's the Queens.